Okay guys, so let's talk about Overwatch 2, the sequel and everything that we know about uh, Overwatch 2 up to this point. <clears throat> this article, guys, was written, uh, you know, by a PC gamer, or I should say it was written by Morgan Park of a PC gamer, and it's all, everything that we know about it, it's a, I, I read this article, I thought it was a pretty good article, guys, it tells us all the details on Overwatch 2's new story, and Heroes co-op mode, shared multiplayer, and more, and I will say this, guys, that before I even really get into this article, I do think that Overwatch 2, from, from the, uh, the actual, you know, announcement trailer that they showed, I thought it looked pretty cool, I mean, you know, I've never been really into Overwatch, uh, I, I, you know, I've, I just kind of always thought that watching it as a, from an esports pers perspective and, and spectator, it just seems like such a cluster. I do respect, though, a lot of like the different abilities, the, the different heroes. It's just a really cool game. It's bright. It's kind of exciting at times. But, um, you know, I never really got into it myself that much, or I, at least I was just never really good at the game. I've tried it, and I'm just... Yeah, I, I'm really not good at the game, so that's probably part of the reason why I, I'm just not super into it. But that being said, guys, give you a little bit of some context as far as my background with Overwatch. I will say this, they they really were trying to, in that trailer, felt like they were really trying to kind of melt your heart a little bit at times while you're watching it seems like you know the the monkey uh is about to like sacrifice himself for his friends and stuff and and so it, they really were, were kind of toying with like emotions in this trailer very you know early on i mean obviously it was very interesting um but that being said i i think that that gives you a little bit some context as far as my thoughts on on the trailer i thought it was pretty good emotional at times and, and at times it was pretty exciting as well I'm excited to see kind of, you know, further, like, reveals of the game, though, in the future. But uh, Overwatch 2 is real. After a year of convincing leaks and reports, we finally got a look at Overwatch's sequel. It's got new maps, heroes, and most interestingly, a story mode expanding on the narrative foundation Blizzard's been building with its character cinematics. From what we've seen so far, Overwatch 2 is not your average sequel. Its most unusual feature is that some new additions like new heroes and multiplayer modes will also come to Overwatch 1 at no additional charge. The two games will continue to coexist as one big PvP experience, while Overwatch 2's other new additions are exclusive to the sequel. We've dug through all the details Blizzard's dished out so far to figure out how that's going to work. Here's everything we know about Overwatch 2 after its announcement at BlizzCon 2019. So really quick though, guys, one thing I do want to mention is the PvP aspect obviously is, is, is a lot of fun, but I think that this, the idea that they are going to be doing a campaign for Overwatch is very intriguing to me and something that I'm interested in because when I talk, when I like what I like about games and getting, if I'm going to buy a game, I like full packages. I like buying a game where it is a campaign, a multiplayer, and then like different co-op modes. That is something that really intrigues me to want to buy a game. And having that in Overwatch 2 is kind of cool. And I know that they really showed like mostly what I, I believe is the campaign and they were kind of showing different, you know, definitely certain emotions and such with the different characters in Overwatch 2. That's really what they were showing was mainly the campaign. At least that's what it felt like as far as what they showed so far. But nonetheless, I'm excited to see a campaign in Overwatch's universe. I think that would be absolutely awesome. But when is Overwatch 2's release date? At BlizzCon 2019, a Blizzard said that Overwatch 2 is still early in development and isn't sure when it will release. I don't know. I have no idea, game director Jeff Kaplan said at the reveal panel. Like, just let us make it great. That's that's what we care about more than anything. We don't have a date in mind. Following the reveal, Blizzard is going dark on Overwatch 2 un until they have more to share. So... Uh, that's going to be interesting. Most likely, we probably won't see Overwatch 2 for a couple of years, I would assume. Uh, we'll probably hear more about it, probably at BlizzCon 2020. Maybe something, you know, that they'll just kind of show everyone. The same thing can be said with Diablo 4. But, uh, what is Overwatch 2 exactly? Well, it's a sequel to Overwatch, 
but not in the way that we usually think about sequels. By the sound of it, Overwatch 2 is more like a big expansion that focused primarily on PvE missions. These missions appear to build off the Overwatch Archive seasonal events from the past few years. The new story missions will likely have more story, dialogue, and cutscenes than the highly repeatable limited time events. We go over those in greater detail below. The new 8-minute cinematic feels like a dramatic declaration of a new Overwatch age. It feels different from the disjointed hero cinematics that we've gotten used to over the years. Tying together multiple characters into a focused story, Overwatch 2 will have a story that moves forward, and this is the kickoff. So gameplay trailer, they showed the gameplay tra trailer, guys. Uh, it says Overwatch 2 PvE missions are divided between story and hero missions, which I think is very interesting. I don't know how I am going to like that that much, but here's what they say about it. Overwatch 2 is going all in on PvE. The game's main campaign, made up of cooperative story missions, We'll see new and old Overwatch heroes teaming up against the Null Sector, the robotic army players fought in the Uprising event from the original game. According to Blizzard, players will team up as different sets of heroes and fight to defend the world from the Omnic forces of Null Sector. Uncover the motives behind the robotic army's attacks and come face to face with rising new threats around the globe. Story missions will also have item pickups that can slightly modify a hero's playstyle. The three shown were an HP generator, a corrosive grenade, and a barrier shield similar to Winston's. Any hero in the mode can pick can pick these up and use them at will, but they don't carry over between missions. On the other end of PvE are hero missions, missions separate from the story that are designed to be highly replayable. In this mode, players can level up heroes and unlock customization options that modify their abilities. In the gameplay trailer, we see a modified Tracer build that chains her pulse bomb explosion to multiple enemies. As far as we can tell, these abilities ability modifiers are exclusive to PvE and won't have any impact on PvP. So it's very interesting. I think I, I'm going to like it overall, having their, like, a camp, a story missions, as well as hero missions. I think I would like something like that, where one thing is, you know, way more, you know, replayable, where the other, you just kind of play one time and that's about it. Uh, they've got, you know, a bunch of Overwatch 2 gameplay that they, 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 they did, uh, you know, have shown off. Um, people were kind of given their, their impressions on, um, on the game as well. I, I gotta say guys, I mean, even though like I'm not the, the biggest fan of Overwatch, I'm excited for the Overwatch community because we're just seeing the continuation of, of Overwatch. And I think them adding story elements to the game is a, is a huge, huge, uh, uh, kind of, uh, upgrade, I guess you could say moving forward. Sojourn is one of Overwatch 2's multiplayer new heroes. As she looks and she looks cool. We don't know much about Sojourn yet, other than that she's Canadian, but her build and intimidating gun arm suggests that she's a damage-focused fo hero. In her highlight intro seen in the gameplay trailer, she also slides into a super jump, so mobility might be her thing. Blizzard is being coy about how many other new heroes we can expect at the launch of Overwatch 2. Echo, the elegant flying robot first introduced in McCree's cinematic, is featured heavily Overwatch 2 reveal, but it's unclear if they will be a playable hero. Hero. Expect this to be cleared up as we learn more about the game in the coming weeks. So, I mean, guys, so much. I mean, there is just so, you know, much about Overwatch 2, the Overwatch 2 push mode. Um, I mean, there's, you know, a lot of the, the new PvP maps that they at least showed us looked really, really great. I'm excited about about Overwatch 2. I, I really am. I mean, I didn't think I would actually be that excited about it, a sequel to Overwatch. The thing about it to me is more so, my question would be about the esports side of, of Overwatch. How is that going to affect things as far as Overwatch is concerned? Will th that be, you know, changing things up a little bit? I, I just kind of wonder how that's going to change from game to game. I was kind of thinking Overwatch was going to be its own thing for pretty much forever. And like they would just kind of do maybe expansions and such. I didn't actually think that they would do an Overwatch 2 and then maybe an Overwatch 3 down the road. It's hard to say, but 
That being said, I am excited about Overwatch 2 as a whole because mainly because of the campaign, the story missions, the hero missions. That's what I'm really excited about. Let me know what you guys think about it in the comment section below. 